introduced to the piece by one of my former teachers. Um, I studied with Lin Chang at Harvard during my undergrad, and I was specifically looking for a piece for solo violin that was contemporary. And he immediately recommended this piece, and I listened to it, and I really fell in love with it. Um, Augusta Reed Thomas wrote it for Rachel Barton Pine as a wedding present, so I think it's a very personal piece. Thomas writes at the beginning that it should be played passionately with lots of rubato, like a jazz improvisation, and to accentuate the variety of characters. And she provides a lot of descriptive words throughout the piece um, to kind of inspire you, whether that's majestic or mysterious or fearless or calm. So she's very specific in those ideas, but since there's that element of freedom, um, it allows the performer a lot of flexibility in their interpretation. Music, in some ways, has always been a family affair. Um, my mom is a violist, and, and my dad is a doctor, he's a neurologist. Um, but he played violin and piano very seriously when he was younger, and he still plays them for fun, and the viola as well. And I have two younger sisters who aren't going into music, but they play cello and violin, respectively. Lots of my extended family also plays instruments, so it was kind of always around, um, and I always found that very inspiring. Also playing with my family members growing up. Um, I played a lot with my dad when I was younger. He accompanied me on piano quite a lot. Mm, yeah. I recently got to play my first in-person concert with my string quartet, the Ayazari Quartet, with an audience in over a year. And that was really, really special. We were playing at the Philadelphia Chamber Music Society, and our second half of our program was Schubert Cello Quintet with Marcy Rosen. And it's just such a wonderful and special piece, and oh, to play with her, and to have an audience there to receive the concert. That was a really, really wonderful, inspiring moment for me recently. Mm -hmm.